Hi everyone, Tracy here with Paper Closet Designs. In today's video, I want to show you these new um, mug cards that I've made, and they come with a gift card, or a gift card pocket, excuse me. So this is the fall one. It does come with a printable tag. This one says Happy Fall, and has the sunflower. Then we have the one that says Sending Love in a Mug, and it has your double hearts on it. This is the Christmas one. It says peppermint kisses and holiday wishes, and it has your peppermint candy on here. And what happens is then when you open this, you can slide your belly band off. And then when you open your card, it also has a gift card holder that's optional. So you can put a gift card in here or you could leave the gift card out and just, you know, do a, a little letter or a greeting or whatever. Um, and then your tag is also removable. I've just tied it on with some jute or baker's twine. And then you have your belly band that just slides back up on there to keep it closed. And that's all there is to it. So today I'm going to show you the pumpkin spice. It says the pumpkin spice life. So there's your tag and I'll show you what's included with it and then we will go ahead and assemble it. So in your file you'll get your little printable tag. This one says the pumpkin spice life and the tag. It also comes with a blank tag if you're interested and want to hand write or stamp something. It has your layered pumpkin and I've already gone ahead and assembled that one. It's pretty easy but there are the four layers on it. Then your decorative circle, the cup lid, the cup sleeve, the gift card holder, and then the card is actually comes in two pieces. So I'm going to go ahead and we'll assemble this first. So what you'll do is um, your back piece has a score line right up there at the top of the lid. And we're just going to go ahead and fold it over. And then your front piece has a score line on the bottom. And we're going to fold that one away from us or towards the table. Like that. I'm going to flip it over and I'm going to put tape right on that tab. And then I'm going to just line up that tab with the glue to the bottom of the back piece. It might be easier to flip it this way. Just line it right up at the score. And then there is your card piece. So this will cut out of the portrait or um, the cameo, either one. The next piece is this optional gift card if you decide you want to use it. Like I said, you could just leave it blank and put your sentiment or letter or whatever. But if you want to go ahead and put this in, we're going to put glue or tape on the top and the bottom. And you don't want to cover up your little um, holes that hold the card. So we're just going to go along the top and the bottom. And then if you're a little bit worried, you can put some through the middle if your card is a little bit heavier or whatever. And then that just fits right there on the bottom. Just like so. And then you can go ahead and slip your card in there. And it just holds it really well. Okay. Now we're going to go ahead and put the lid on the top piece. So I'm going to put some tape on it. And the lid is slightly bigger than on the cup. And I did that so that when you cover it up, you don't have any of that behind it showing. Okay, it's not a huge amount, but it is just a hair bigger. All right, now we're gonna do the belly band. So there's two score lines on the belly band. We're gonna fold it down that middle one. And then the second one 
or the edge one. And I actually think I folded, no, I did fold those wrong because it doesn't really matter, but my paper has texture to it. So I folded the middle score line and the edge, and we're gonna put a little bit of tape right there. And then I would suggest that you put the belly band on first before you close it up, just because not all gift cards are the same thickness and you want to make sure that it slides on and off easily. So we're just gonna lay that on there. And fold it over and match it up. And then if you don't want that seam to show, you can flip it over and put the seam so it's towards the back. But that way it's loose enough that it slides on and off without any problem. Okay, next we're gonna put our little decorative circle on there. And you wanna put your tape just in the middle. You don't want it on the edge because you don't want it to adhere to the actual card, only to the belly band. And then you'll take your layered pumpkin that you've already put together and you can put it right there on the circle. And I'm gonna put it on with a little bit of foam. You don't have to, um, it looks fine if you wanna just glue it directly to that circle. But I like giving it just a little bit of dimension. I'm just gonna move that. Stick it on right there. Okay, and then to finish it off, I'm going to glue my sentiment that I've printed. Onto my tag, just right there in the middle, and there's some shadow around it. And then you'll want to go ahead and tie that down to the lid. And for this one, I'm just going to use some really thin jute that I happen to have in my stash. You can use baker's twine, embroidery floss, a ribbon, anything. Or if you don't want to tie that on there, you could just put a little drop of glue or your tape runner to hold it down. But I like the look of the twine or the jute. I'm just going to go ahead and tie a knot. it real tight and I'm actually going to tie it a second time so that it's nice and tight loop that through it's got a big enough hole that it should hold go through about anything your ribbon your twine baker's twine whatever and you could tie it in a knot or a bow Whatever you like. Go ahead and trim that down. And that is all there is to these fun little mug cards. And like I said, I've got four that are available right now, and then I've got some more that are in the works. So go ahead and give that a try. Thank you for joining me today. Please hit subscribe down below so that you don't miss any of my videos, and have a great day.